It's kind of a shock when you've been going for mammograms for over 30 years and somebody says, oh, the doctor would like to see you. Uh, but I am a survivor. It's been two years and four months now. And I owe that particularly to God and prayers and Penn State Cancer Institute. The smiles they give you and the positive attitudes that they have make you feel very comfortable and like, like you're walking into a, a home environment, you know, not, it's not cold and sterile. I feel that we have had some challenges along the way with finding things because not everything was in the same building. But somebody coming here, it's like, my God, where am I going? And it's, everybody's moving fast in the hall and you sort of think, you're going with the crowd and you're not sure we're going. Um, for instance, radiation was in the bottom of, of the main building, but then you had to have your chemotherapy over in the UPC building. So I found that it was difficult that way to find your way around. Well, you need to remember that nationally, cancer is becoming the number one killer of patients and, and us all. And it's a growing disease as our population ages. So we're seeing more and more um, uh, patients. Not only that, and the good news really is, we can do so much more. We can help patients for so much longer and so much better. So our needs are, are growing and our space has been shrinking. Most medical schools, um, like ours has been to date, um, have your researchers on one side of the building and your physicians on the other side of the building. It's always hard to get these cultures together. And, and there, there, are, there probably are three different types of folks. There are those who are primarily clinicians. There are those who are primarily researchers. And then there's a handful of people who really try to do both. And it's, it's very hard to do that. Shortly after the year 2000, uh, there was um, a strategic plan developed for the institution here. What we've done is uh, form the four scientific programs so that each of the programs have a scientific program leader whose uh, job and mission is to make sure that all the members of the program collaborate uh, within the program and also collaborate with members of the other programs. The synergy we have, basic scientists, clinicians, defines the term we call translational research. Well, the College of Medicine at Penn State has always been uh, involved in, in research and taking that research from the bench, from the laboratory, to patients. This translation, as we say, of research to uh, clinical care will happen uh, much more readily. The new Cancer Institute building will allow enhancement of cancer care in the area and also encompass most of the patients who belong to this uh, area, big area of central Pennsylvania. And it will allow the clinicians, basic scientists, and translational investigators to come together so as to make improvements in overall patient care and make a difference in the lives of their patients. We've grown very rapidly uh, since I've been here at Penn State and our, our, our cancer care has become uh, much more involved. We serve a lot more patients than ever. And I think we're really in need of a new building, new space to improve the environment, uh, to allow patients to, to relax when they're, they're, they're here, uh, and to allow the other um, specialties, the other services that we work with, to be more attainable to our patients. So we really need a space, and we need a, an enhanced environment. And I think this uh, new building will provide just that. The new cancer facility will allow us to head in the direction of NCI designation and also allow us to work together to bring all cancer care in one area. As a physician, I think it really will make a big difference for our patients, a lots of improvement. What it will mean, for example, is that we can offer integrated care, both patient care and research, in one building. Patients won't need to travel outside of this area to get the latest, uh, the best and the newest uh, form of therapy. So we're really very excited.
spatial fragmentation of cancer services over here now with us in one place, medical oncology in another place, the surgeons in yet another place, uh, can be hard to do. Having, a, having good architecture doesn't guarantee collaboration, but it certainly can facilitate it. And I think that's going to be one of the real strengths in the new building, is to bring together in the same place uh, people who logically are working together and are, are collaborating to care for patients. Uh, with the building, the theme of the building will be a community of people caring for patients of cancer. The design is intended to make patients move through the clinics and the, the examination areas and the consulting areas more easily, to reduce the, the sense of crowding, and to bring a, an atmosphere of calm. There are currently five floors in the new building. Uh, first three floors are more clinically oriented and then the top two floors are research oriented. In the design there will be areas where patients can and their families can relax, they can look outside, view nature. Then the first and second floors are the clinical floors for primarily medical oncologists, uh, surgical oncologists and then getting input from radiation oncologists in terms of this multidisciplinary concept. At arrival they'll be met if they need to be, they'll be a drop-off point where they can uh, wouldn't have to travel very far to get into the building. Uh, then it'll be registered in a in a more friendly uh, environment, uh, as it were. And consultation uh, will occur uh, in the examining rooms, as well as in special rooms set aside for this purpose. Also, on the first and second floors, there is a day hospital being planned. Now, the day hospital is currently in the. Uh, in the main building, it'll be moved to the to the cancer building. But what that allows is very intensive care in an outpatient setting, um, really allowing us to discharge patients very much earlier than usually. And then the third and fourth floors are primarily um, laboratory research areas. Uh, that's very important for us because it allows us to uh, have space for new recruitment. And by having common areas, by having people in the same building, by hopefully getting more clinicians to the research conferences, more basic scientists to the clinical conferences, that is the kind of collaboration we hope to be able to foster in the new building. That's what's going to, in the long run, pay off for our patients. Again, it's hallway conversation. Um, if we are all, which we will be, all on one floor of the New Cancer Institute building, we're going to see each other when we go for coffee and we will have much more time to uh, talk instead of having to sit down and write a long email. We're going to truly have an environment where our basic scientists and our clinicians and our caregivers will all be in lockstep with each other. We're going to be marching to the same beat because we're going to be next to each other. We're going to throw ideas off each other. We're going to truly create an atmosphere, a culture, where we will more quickly develop the technologies that will really lead to better patient care. And we're doing it here at the Penn State Cancer Institute. Cancer is a disease which has been considered acute for the past few decades. And it is time that we change cancer from an acute illness to a chronic disease. And if we are able to actually improve the treatments that these patients can have and improve quality of life, over a period of time, I think that will be the next accomplishment and goal. And hopefully with the availability of these institutions, which brings all the researchers and clinicians together, we'll be able to accomplish this.